If you've ever felt overwhelmed by negativity, fighting a battle against your worst habits, or feeling the ominous presence of something darker, know that you're not alone. These struggles are real. The question that remains is, what can you do? Is there some power, some tool, some source of protection that can change the game? Many believe so. They point to specific verses in the Bible, not just one but several, that carry an authority feared by even the darkest forces. What are these verses? What makes them so powerful against darkness? And most importantly, whether you are facing internal struggles or external attacks, can these verses bring you the long-awaited deliverance you desperately need? Today, I will reveal these often overlooked scriptures. Let's dive into their deep meaning, why they are feared, and how to apply them powerfully in your own life. I will not offer false hope or spiritual fairy tales. I deal with truth and tangible strength that you can access no matter where you are starting. Brace yourself, and let's look at the historical significance of these verses, their unique spiritual properties, and what they teach us about exercising true authority. The world around us sells the comforting lie that your biggest problems are out there. A bad boss, a broken economy, chaos in the news. But the truth, a truth glimpsed in whispers throughout scripture, is far more disturbing. There is an invisible war going on, imperceptible to most, but which hurts us deeply. We feel it in the relentless cycles of self-doubt, the attraction to habits we despise, the relationships that drain rather than uplift, and the moments when the very air seems charged with indescribable fear. This is neither weakness nor mental illness, although it deftly exploits these things. This is what the Bible calls spiritual warfare, a confrontation between the forces of good and evil. It is a battle that transcends the physical world and unfolds in the invisible realms. But we are not defenseless. There is a weapon given to us, a power we can access to resist the darkness. The verses I will reveal today are the keys to this fight. They are the light that dispels shadows and the hope that overcomes despair. So, if you want to discover how to face your own inner demons, how to overcome the adversities that surround you, and how to find lasting peace, be sure to watch until the end of this video. These verses are the long-kept secret, the revelation that can change your life. Prepare yourself for a journey of spiritual discovery and to unlock the power that is within your reach. The war is going on. It's time to fight. Imagine this. A battlefield where light and darkness clash, where the human soul is at stake. It may seem like an ancient superstition, easily dismissed in our modern world. But let me tell you, ignoring this conflict is a serious mistake, a dangerous choice. Even Jesus himself faced temptations in the desert, confronted by demonic powers throughout his ministry. The Apostle Paul warned believers to arm themselves with spiritual armor, not as a metaphor, but as an absolute recognition of the true battle we face. So what does this spiritual warfare look like? It's a war waged in the depths of your mind, where relentless negativity masquerades as your own thoughts. It's the deceptive allure of quick fixes that traps you rather than sets you free. It's the drain pipe that drains the joy from your relationships, turning potential allies into sources of conflict. It's that suffocating weight that fills a place, an atmosphere of fear or hopelessness that clings to even the most stunning environments. And the darkest aspect of all this? Encounters with an intelligence that seems hostile, strange, and bent on destruction. But here's the crucial truth. None of this defines you. You are not the shattered fragments of your thoughts, the claws of addiction, or the pit of despair. You are a child of God caught in the crossfire. And as in any conflict, understanding the enemy's tactics is the first step to victory. If any of these things resonate with you, if you recognize these battles being fought in your own life, then take heart, for there is hope. But it is not found in mere self-help techniques. It resides in an ancient and unyielding power. The Bible not only reveals the existence of this war, it equips us with weapons. In its pages, certain verses contain an authority, a spiritual force that cuts through the web of lies and dismantles strongholds. But make no mistake, these verses are not magic spells to be sung blindly. They are weapons that must be handled with understanding, with precision. Now, you may be wondering what are these verses hiding in plain sight? How does their power become our power? Well, my friend, we have reached the heart of the matter. In the moments to come, 
I will not. Get ready, because I won't keep you in suspense any longer. The first key we are going to reveal comes from the words of the Apostle Paul, written in his powerful letter to the Ephesians. Prepare yourself for Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 11, where Paul declares, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his power, devil. Now, initially you might see this as a general call to strength, but let's delve deeper and unveil his in-death battle strategy. Context is crucial here. Paul wrote these words not to a complacent church enjoying times of peace, but to a community under the looming shadow of the Roman Empire, which often unleashed hostility on Christians. Spiritual darkness permeated their society, and Paul did not embellish their reality. Instead, he armed them for the fight to come. Pay attention to the text. Paul does not speak of mere strength. He talks about power. But this power is not rooted in our weak will. No, it taps into something much greater, the limitless power of God himself. It is there for the taking, accessible to us. But here's the problem. We must choose it. We must actively embrace it. Now let's talk about the armor. Paul draws on the image of a Roman soldier's equipment, familiar to his audience. But each piece of this armor symbolizes a spiritual defense. Truth, righteousness, the gospel of peace, faith as a shield, salvation as a helmet. Each of these is crucial, and there is something unique, something that differentiates everything, the sword of the Spirit. And guess what? Paul tells us that this sword is none other than the Word of God. Here is the revelation. These verses are not just pieces of armor. They are also the sword at your disposal. They have defensive and offensive power. But how do we manage them? Let's explore more. The Greek word for schemes used here refers to the enemy's tactics, methods, and strategies. This reveals a profound truth. Demons do not attack randomly. No, they analyze, adapt their attacks, and exploit our weaknesses. It's a worrying thought, but it also reveals a crucial vulnerability on their part. They are susceptible to counter-strategies. So how does this verse manifest itself in practice? Imagine the enemy bombarding your mind with relentless thoughts of uselessness. You don't bear it passively. You fight back. You draw your sword, a verse, and speak it with conviction. The enemy's scheme crumbles in the face of the truth. Darkness recedes in the presence of light. Now imagine the countless battles you could win armed with the full armor of God. The enemy's schemes were destroyed. The control he had over his mind was broken. It's time to rise up, to harness the power that is already within your reach. The battle is real, but victory is guaranteed. It's your choice. Will you stand strong in the face of darkness, wielding the sword of the Spirit? The time is now. Get ready for a mind-blowing revelation that will transform your understanding of your identity in Christ. Get ready for a journey to the power of affirming Bible verses. Imagine saying words that undo the lies and affirm the authority of Christ over your mind. It's time to unlock the true potential within you. Each verse we explore is like a key, capable of unlocking countless doors. They function as targeted and precise weaponry against the spiritual battles we face. No more struggling in the dark, we have been equipped with powerful tools. So let's delve into the next verse in our spiritual arsenal. The passage from Ephesians reveals that the Bible is not just a source of comfort, it is a battle manual. It calls us to take the very word of God as a weapon against the enemy's schemes. But here's the crucial point. These spiritual weapons are not one-size-fits-all. We must understand the unique properties of each verse to use it effectively. Now, let's dive into a key that even Christ himself used when faced with temptation in the desert. It comes from the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 8, verse 3. Prepare yourself for these powerful words, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. At first glance, this may seem like a statement about physical sustenance, but let's dig deeper and consider the context of Jesus. He had been fasting for 40 days, and the tempter offered a shortcut by urging him to turn stones into bread. However, Jesus' refusal anchored in this verse, reveals a profound truth. The word, live, here goes beyond mere survival. In the original Hebrew, it is ch, which encompasses prosperity and flourishing, the kind of life God intends for us. 
Jesus states that true life is not sustained only by the physical, it is sustained by God's own words. Can you understand the magnitude of this revelation? Imagine the implications. Your existence is not confined to the limitations of the material world. You were made to thrive, to flourish in every aspect of your being. Your sustenance goes beyond bread. It comes from the life-giving words that flow from the mouth of God. Now, armed with this key, you have the power to combat the temptations that threaten to derail you. When the enemy whispers shortcuts or offers temporary satisfaction, you can boldly declare, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You access the source of life, the source of true flourishing. So, my friend, are you ready to unlock the abundant life God intended for you? Are you prepared to use this powerful verse as a weapon against the enemy's schemes? Remember, you are wonderfully and wonderfully made, and nothing can separate you from the love of Christ. Embrace the power of God's word and watch as your life transforms from mere survival to glorious flourishing. Adventure awaits. It's time to discover the secrets that will empower you in the midst of spiritual warfare. Imagine being equipped to combat relentless negative thoughts that drive you toward destructive behaviors like a hungry soul in need of sustenance. The enemy's goal is to sever your connection to the true source of vitality, the Word of God, and replace it with toxic substitutes. But fear not. This verse is a defiant statement, a powerful reminder of where your true strength lies. It is an invitation to celebrate God's truth, strengthening oneself against soul-draining attacks. Imagine memorizing a short verse about God's unfailing love to combat discouragement or meditating on His promises when fear arises. As we actively nourish ourselves with Scripture, we don't just read words. We build our spiritual immune system. Now let us free ourselves from the conventional view that spiritual warfare consists only of direct confrontation, rebuke, and expulsion. The scriptures reveal another weapon, one that strikes fear into the heart of the enemy. Prepare yourself for an unexpected source of power, the Old Testament book of Lamentations. Lamentation is a raw expression of anguish, born from the devastation of Jerusalem's destruction. Yet hidden among the depths of despair, we find a verse that radiates an unwavering resilience. See Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23. The Lord's steadfast love never ceases, His mercies never end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. At first glance, you might question how praising God becomes a battle tactic. But remember, the enemy's objective goes beyond external destruction. He seeks to corrode your very essence. He plants seeds of despair, bitterness, and doubts about God's goodness. Now, imagine this. In the middle of the darkest night, you stand up and, with unwavering faith, declare, The Lord's steadfast love never ceases, His mercies never end. You use a weapon the enemy fears, a resounding proclamation of God's faithfulness. At that moment, the atmosphere changes. Despair crumbles, bitterness dissipates, and your soul is strengthened with unwavering hope. But here's the remarkable truth. God's mercies don't just happen once. They are new every morning. Each day, a new wave of His loyalty washes over you, enabling you to face each battle with unwavering determination. Can you understand the magnitude of this revelation? So, my friend, let the power of these verses light a fire within you. Revel in God's truth, strengthen your soul, and declare His faithfulness in the face of adversity. As you delve into the intellectual and spiritual study of the Bible, you will discover a source of vitality that nourishes your very being. Get ready to experience a transformation that will leave the enemy trembling. The battle begins now. Prepare to discover your favorite weapons, verses that will spark a defiant act of worship amidst the devastation. It is time to make a resounding declaration that refuses to allow circumstances to dictate our belief in the character of God. Imagine this, with every proclamation of God's love and faithfulness, sunlight dispels the encroaching darkness. But let's dive deeper into the heart of this battle. In the great controversy between good and evil, Satan's main lie is to distort the true character of God. He wants us to see him as severe, distant, or indifferent. Yet in the face of trials, 
We defiantly cling to God's goodness, dismantling it brick by brick. Now, let's bring this truth to our daily battles. Imagine being tormented by relentless negativity, with a voice destroying you from the inside. It is time to combat it not just with rebuke, but with resounding proclamation. Declare boldly, God's mercy is new to me today. I am a beloved child of God and nothing changes that. Or perhaps you find yourself in a season when blessings seem absent and prayers go unanswered. Instead of falling into doubt, declare with unwavering faith, God is faithful even when I don't understand. His plan is good even if I can't see it. We delve deeper into these powerful, often forgotten verses, uncovering their historical depth and the authority they embody. But remember, knowledge alone is useless without application. So how do we turn this knowledge into action in the ongoing spiritual battles we face? First, we must be proactive and not reactive. Don't wait for a crisis to look for the right verse. Choose them now and commit them to memory. Immerse yourself in these powerful words until they saturate your thinking and become your instinctive response. Methods are important. Yes, read the verses, but there is a measurable power in saying them out loud. Let your voice, in the physical realm, echo in the spiritual realm. Especially when focusing on authority and resistance, let the verses resonate with unwavering conviction. But we can't stop there. It's time to turn these verses into weapons of action. Meditate on them, ponder their meaning, and let them permeate your being. Allow the truth they contain to shape your thoughts, words, and actions. Embrace the transformative power of these verses and watch as they become a force that destroys the strongholds of the enemy. So, my friend, are you ready to arm yourself with these potent weapons? Will you choose to be proactive, memorize, speak, and embody these verses? Enter the realm of victorious spiritual warfare and experience the freedom and advancement that awaits you. It's time to release the power of God's word and watch as the darkness crumbles before the resounding truth. The battle is now and victory is within our reach. Get ready for a mind-blowing revelation that will capture your soul from the first second. In the depths of your heart, prayers arise, not as a formula, but as a sincere cry shaped by the word of God itself. Listen carefully as his voice echoes inside you. His word declares that he is your shield, and right now, you can claim that divine protection. Feel the connection deepen as his promises become personal. Imagine the power of meditation, where you delve into a single verse, unlocking its deep meaning. As you focus on this, its transformative power penetrates your spirit, strengthening you from within. Visualize yourself clothed in the radiant armor of light and watch as God's love makes the shadows of fear disappear. These vivid images strengthen your inner resolve, igniting a fire within you. But let's be realistic, there are times when, even armed with these verses, the battle seems far from one. Remember, this type of authority is not a magic wand. It is built through consistent practice and unwavering confidence. Even when immediate advances elude you, integrating this practice into your overall spiritual life becomes essential. These verses are potent, but they thrive in harmony with a solid foundation. Regular study of the Bible sharpens your understanding of God's character, avoiding distortions or misinterpretations. Worship recalibrates your focus, fixing your gaze on His greatness, an invigorating antidote to discouragement. Fellowship with like-minded believers offers support and accountability, reminding you that you are not alone in this battle. Now, let's address expectations. The forces aligned against us are ancient, cunning, and deeply rooted. Destructive thought patterns, ingrained negativity, and destructive habits. They don't always disappear instantly. But here's the truth. It's not a failure of God's word. It's a reminder that victory often unfolds as a process. Remember the grand narrative of the great controversy. This is more than a personal war. It is your participation in Christ's final victory. Sometimes your greatest act of resistance is simply refusing to surrender. It's choosing faith once again, wielding the sword of his word every day. And that kind of relentless persistence terrifies the enemy. It's your choice. Will you let the verses we explored remain mere curiosities, gathering dust on the shelf of your mind? Or will you accept them as your lifeline, your source of power? Transformative power is within your reach. 
I've given you glimpses, starting points, but the real discovery happens in the trenches of your own everyday struggles. Wield these weapons with wisdom, boldness, and unwavering faith. Let the transformation they bring become your testimony, a living testimony of the power of God's word in your life. Prepare to witness the extraordinary as you reach the fullness of victory. We have reached the end of today's video. Stay with God, and until the next video,